Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today we're going to kind of do a video in a video. This week on GTA Online we're having a really good sale. It's 50% off war stock vehicles, 25% off the Armored Karuma, and double cash and RP for parachuting and drop zone. I don't know, normally pick, do the drop zone or any of those, I just don't find them that interesting or any fun to do. But if this week, you know, make some money and get you the Buzzard or the Armored Karuma or any of those other vehicles from war stock, because this is the time to buy them. All right, so how to make money doing parachuting. When it's double RP and double cash, this is the perfect time to do this because parachuting is essentially a race. And like any of the other races in GTA Online and missions, they're all based on time. So to make the max money solo in a race, you want to race for about six minutes. And that's, you know, kind of a little too hard to do in a parachute. You're like, wow, man, how am I make a parachute last six minutes? Well, you just got to go real slow. So what you want to do is you just hold the brakes down the entire time, which is L1 and R1. And then you just steer, you know, head for your checkpoints. The way I do it is I don't even look at the circles. I just look at the arrows. And you want to hit the middle of the arrow with the center of your body and line it up like that. And since you're moving slow, it's, it's a lot easier to do it. Now you can, you know, let off the brakes and kind of fly in between these checkpoints a little bit faster, you know, just because it kind of gets boring. But the problem I see with that is you'll start rocking back and forth trying to get to the checkpoints and you can miss the checkpoints and that'll lower your score. So basically what I do is just glide down really slow. And it seems like, you know, it's like, man, this is going to take forever. Yeah, it, you know, that's how you make money. Nothing that comes fast is any good. If you don't believe me, ask your girlfriend. <laughs> but seriously, uh, this is, I mean, probably the easiest way to make money without spending money. There's no payout that you have to pay. I mean, you're just, the only thing you have to own is a parachute. And you're not shooting anybody, nobody's shooting at you. It's just basically drifting down slowly out of the sky like a you know, whatever, and hit checkpoints. And once you get good at it, you, you know, you'll line them up pretty easy. I've gotten to where, you know, I can just, I don't even have to think about lining them up. I, as soon as I see the next checkpoint, I pretty much, you know, know where I need to move to hit the center of the arrow, which is the area that you want to do. Because you get 15 points for the center of the checkpoint, 10 points for the first ring outside, and then five points for the outer ring. And staying within the arrow, the center of the checkpoint, also helps you avoid obstacles and stuff like that that are close to the ground. Because once you're doing these in the cities and stuff like that, and you have to swing around the buildings, if you hit anything, you've messed up the whole thing, you lose your thing, and so, when you get to these red checkpoints, what you're going to have to do is hit triangle and cut your parachute and then hit your reserve chute once you get down to the next one because this one means that the next checkpoint is real low, to, you know, it's farther down. So once you go through, wait till you turn it over and then just line up your joystick with the next checkpoint. I know you can't see it, but as you get closer and closer, you'll notice, you know, the first part of my knee is getting looks like it's going to hit the checkpoint and that's when I pull my parachute and that you know makes sure that I don't pull it too soon or too late and then I miss the next checkpoint now I drifted in kind of fast here you know just to make up the time just so I could start and then right back to the brakes and just slowly drift in and this, these are really easy and you owe it to yourself to make some money I put I made three playlists uh, just basically all of the same things and you know every one of the parachuting and just played them one right after another and I made you know over three hundred thousand dollars just doing what I'm doing now playing every one of the parachutings and I unlocked a couple of awards or something I can't even remember what it was but it was pretty cool and this is a, like right here as you're flying down through the trees you definitely want to make sure that you're in the center of the target because if you hit one of these trees it knocks you off the parachute you hit the ground and it's completely over. 
Now as you're coming to the final target, the best way i found to do this is once you pass the first ring, you want to get in real low, and then as soon as you hit the last one, just dump the joystick all the way forward, and you'll stick the landing right there. And 325 points. 5 minutes and 48... Oh, what happened? I didn't get anything? Well, see, the reason it showed that I didn't make any RP is because I made more money than this mission is actually designed to pay out on regular you know, payout with the double RP. If you look right up there, I actually made 4,000 RP and $12,000, which isn't bad for five minutes. So it's a really cool way to make some quick cash. All right, with well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this helps you out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.